year 2017, uh, it was my best year so far. Uh, I won my second world title and other six competitions. And until last month, when I reached to the quarterfinals of the, of the British Open in Stourbridge, my coach informed me of my new ranking. And it was a surprise because I didn't know that before. I try not to put too much focus on this because whether I'm the world number one or not, um, it shouldn't affect my game. It shouldn't change my game. I think snooker is a mind game. So no matter who's your opponent or where you're playing at, I think you just need to play your game and enjoy the game. Uh, when the chance comes, you, you just play it. That's the easy way. And to me, the best way to play my best game is to forget about whether winning or losing. Just try to do everything possible to apply what I have learned from my daily training. When I was young, uh, I didn't like studying. Um, my father is an uh, amateur snooker player. And one day he took me with him. Then and I saw him wearing the snooker uniform and I think this is cool. So I asked him to teach me how to play. I wish one day I could wear the same. I gave up my education and chose a different path compared with others. And I sometimes feel, feel empty when speaking to some of my friends, especially with the topic outside of snooker. But however, um, a friend of mine once told me this, um, don't think yourself as being behind. Instead, you're only on a different schedule. And I also uh, visit school to promote the sport. Hopefully, I can let some people know that snooker is a healthy sport, and ladies can also get at snooker, even with her glasses, <laughs> maybe.